1988, Bobby Geddes lifted the trophy for Dundee. In 1989, Rangers captain Jimmy Nicol took the cup to Ibrox. And last year, it landed in the safe hands of Andy Gorham of Hibernian. In 1991, the Scottish television cameras were back at the SECC in Glasgow to capture the drama and excitement of Britain's top indoor football tournament, the Tenant Sixes. This year, in an attempt to increase the number of goals scored, the rules were changed. Two players had to be in the opposition half at all times. It proved to be a master stroke. The teams were split into two groups of five, each led out by a young fan who had won the right to be mascot for the tournament in a Scotsport competition. In Group A, holders Hibs, Celtic, St Johnston, Dundee United and finally Motherwell. The first match featured Hibs against Celtic. Commentator, Jerry McNee. Celtic get the match underway against the holders of Bernie and Celtic have never won this tournament. Team. Great save by Gorham. Charlie Nicholas. Jackanovsky. Real chance on here for Celtic. Well, John Collins already threatening his whole team. Part of the triumph last season. There goes the, the hooker. Another chance. They are falling to right. Celtic all over the place. Paul Wright scores again. His second goal. Snedden to Billy Findlay. Snedden again, the former Celtic player. Ten years, mind you, with hoops. Well played. Milne forward. Another goal for hoops. Billy Findlay. Grant. Let's have it again though. Hamilton to right. Good play by right. His hat trick's on. He's got it. Switch by Jakinovsky to Peter Grant. Jakinovsky again. Well challenged by Cooper. Again it's Jakinovsky finding the left. It's defending well, a chance here for Peter Grant. The ball over the line, a goal for Celtic. John Collins getting the touch against his old club. Jakodowski. Miller. Miller trying to find the opening. Collins! Oh, a tremendous goal by John Collins. Celtic battling all the way, but time is going to beat them with a the pullback, another one. Peter Grant forcing the ball across the line, four goals for three. There goes the footer. Well, a grandstand finish there by Celtic. No pass again. Good play. Supported there by Darren Jackson. Cut out there by Ingalls, chance here for Mastry. Play on says the referee, the advantage, and the goal to St Johnston. Well, that was good refereeing by Douglas Hopp. That's poor play by Clark, I'm sure he's disappointed in that. That's Roddy Grant. Oh, it goes to Ingalls, Mastry's in there battling away. Bowman's come on, giving the ball away. The chance on here, yes! Roddy Grant makes it 2-0. To St Johnston. Now it's Malpass. Steinman has also come on for United. He's Steinman. Malpass again, driving his man forward. McKinley. And United pull one back. Billy McKinley.
And it comes again. Well, two goals in the space of a few seconds to put United right back into the match. Gil Kipper for Hibs. To the right. to keep possession Cooper again to right he's got Hamilton that's where it goes the chance on here yes the first goal to Hibernian Billy Finlay picked up by Boyd Put Ferguson and Cooper forward Cooper, Ferguson, oh, wonderful goal by Ian Ferguson. Oh, right to Cooper. O'Neill, oh, fine goal by Colin O'Neill. Finlay to Milne. Finlay again. Patient build up by Hibbs, oh, that's a tremendous goal by Finlay. Joe McLeod. McLeod again. Trying the shot. Fine goal there by Bryce. Hamilton to Snedden. Snedden again. It's a fine afternoon. Oh, another tremendous goal by Finlay. Good play by Colin O'Neill to Davy Cooper. Just under two minutes left. Davy Cooper. Good ball to Ferguson. Oh, that's a fine Motherwell goal. Forward to Masquerade. Alan Moore stepping in. Mike Galloway with him all the way. Free kick. Quickly taken by Moore to Baltacha. Shot going in there, the first goal to St Johnston, Harry Curran. Galloway for Celtic, a powerful player. Miller, Joe Miller, cutting inside, good play by Miller. Oh, what a chance for Celtic. They've still got possession up through McStay. Forward to Miller. Jakinowski in the middle. Miller. Good goalkeeping again by Lindsay Hamilton. Forward comes Moore. A real chance. 2-0 to St Johnston. Well, Celtic left themselves with a mountain to climb in the opening game against Hibs. And almost got themselves back into it again. They've got to show the fight back. There's Joe Miller. That's a superb goal. Grant. Buddy Grant. Good play. But that does well from Moore's effort. The ball into the net. 3-1 to St Johnston. Trying to find the opening. Jakinowski. Charlie Nicholas almost pulling one back for Celtic, who are trailing by three goals to one. Here's Peter Grant. Jakinowski again, very dangerous in this kind of situation. Grant, a fine goal by Celtic. Bring it up well for Baltacha. Great save again by Andy Murdoch. It's Charlie Nicholas. Oh, Nicholas and Jakinowski up front. Celtic should create plenty of chances. Eric White, Jakinowski again, Jakinowski! That's a penalty kick because Maltacha touched the ball inside the shaded area, so the penalty to Celtic. That's Nicholas, and Celtic score! Well, this is just a tonic Celtic needed, having lost the first game to 
Hibernian by four goals to three. Now they're leading St Johnston by the same score. A penalty kick awarded to St Johnston. Obviously Celtic not giving enough time forward. So it's Mark Trainer. And he scores four goals apiece. And it's Galloway. Well taken again by Hamilton. So we're inside the final minute, four goals apiece. It's Roddy Grant for St Johnston. Oh, a tremendous goal by Roddy Grant. Celtic have a penalty now. Because St Johnston didn't keep two players forward. And Charlie Nicholas again. Another goal for Celtic. United in possession, switch to Alec Cleland, Van der Hoorn, Cleland again, Van der Hoorn, they could have the shot from there but he decides to pass it to Connolly, McKinley, must be a goal, yes, Alec Cleland makes it 1-0 to United, Cleland, Van der Hoorn, blocked by O'Neill, I don't think he knew very much about that but he gets it to Floyd, Van der Hoorn again, United keeping their opponents well pinned back. Connolly, oh, a tremendous strike by Paddy Connolly. Cleland again. Chances on for United. That's well saved by Maxwell. The shot going in from Connolly. Again at United, keeping on the pressure. Cleland blocked by McCart. The ball hit home again, this time by Billy McKinley. Patterson. Sending it to O'Neill, off the post there, picked up now by Jim McAnally, Darren Jackson gets a second chance at it, and he scores! United really having to do something, having lost out on penalties to St Johnson in the earlier match. And they've been a hungrier team in this game, but Motherwell still battling away. And they pull one back through Jim Griffin. David Cooper trying to set it up for McAnally, but a for Cook, I should say. And there's another one for United. Van der Hoorn strolling through the Marvel defence. Well, this has been the most one sided game of the tournament so far. Well, by a mile, you could say. Slipped by Van der Hoorn, picked up by David Cooper. Still Cooper. Oh, great play by David Cooper. Well, under two minutes left, United indulging in possession play with a three goal cushion. Their injection. Freddy van der Hoorn, chance on again. Christian Daly makes it six. Oh, you can't hit the ball from your own third of the pitch to the other attacking zone, so a free kick awarded to St. Johnson. Oh, a tremendous strike by Alan Moore. out by Snedden for Hibbs. So just seconds left. Hibbs almost grabbing the equaliser in the dying stages of this first half. Still a chance on and have scored right in the last second. Well both sides can claim uh, can lay claim to the fastest goal of the tournament. Finlay and Curran each scoring in 50 seconds. Play again through Curran, he's got Mascray to his right, that's where it goes, Mascray, a tremendous goal! <laughs> Nicholas for Celtic, good powerful run by Galloway. Celtic skipper Paul McStay. 
Nicholas. Still Nicholas. Oh, a great goal by Charlie Nicholas. Nicholas again. Ball taking a deflection. That's a fine save by Alan Main. Nicholas cutting in from the right, sending in the shot. It was deflected. And there was a fine save from the United keeper. But Nicholas makes it two. Excellent finishing again from Charlie Nicholas from the corner kick. Galloway for Celtic, cut out by Van der Hoorn. Good strong run by Van der Hoorn, the chance on. Complete miss kick by McKinley. Another chance I hit up. Fine goal by Billy McKinley. White to Jakinowski. Nicholas is in the middle. Jakinowski. Bowman cut to the ring. Jakinowski has it again. Gives it to Paul McStay Celtic, leading by two goals to one. A minute and a half of the game left. to Nicholas Charlie Nicholas goal number three and surely that ties it up for Celtic Paul McStay 25 seconds showing in the clock Celtic well in control now this is a game they had to win it's Joe Miller he must score number four for Celtic Curran again, trying to pick out Baltacha, it's well cut out, well, David Cooper, Cooper to Bryce, what a chance for Motherwell, goal number one, Curran, challenged well there by Jim Griffin, chance on now for Motherwell, Ian Ferguson, number two for Motherwell, free kick to Motherwell, and a simple tap-in for Ferguson. So a minute left, 3-0 to Motherwell. Tom Boyd, forward to Cooper, it's two against one. The hat-trick's on for Ferguson. That's for David Cooper, and he drills the ball into the roof of the net. Galloway very much involved in this game, good powerful run, but well challenged by McCart. David Cooper. Good skills by Cooper, a magnificent goal. Boy, this possessed though by Collins. Boyd conceding the free kick. So Motherwell leading by David Cooper's goal. Here comes Cooper again. Another excellent goal by David Cooper. Good touch by Darren Jackson to East Steinman. it up for McKinley, 1-0 to United, Hamilton, McIntyre, Weir, and the equaliser, good throw to Mickey Weir, Oh, an excellent goal from Alan Snedden. Neil Cooper for Hibbs. Snedden for Lennon. Oh, great goal by Danny Lennon. Oh, another 
great shot. To Shindeli on for United, number nine. John Clark in possession. Forward to Billy McKinley. So that's how the group finished, with Motherwell and St. Johnson going through. In a couple of minutes, we'll concentrate on Group B. The teams in Group B had a lot to live up to. In 10 Group 1 matches, the goal-scoring average was just under 6 per game. And so to the Group B lineup: Airdrie from the 1st Division, Hearts, Aberdeen, St Mirren and Dunfermline. First up were Adrian Hartz, it's back to Jerry McNee. The referee David Syme gets this match underway. John Cahoon with the early shot. One pile. John Cahoon for Hearts. Just a bit ambitious, stopped by McPhee. Kipwood. All of the goal by Airdrie. Dave Kipwood sweeping the ball into the Hearts net. Alan Lawrence has come on for Airdrie. It's him running onto the ball. That's him in possession. Cut out by Sanderson. Roberts leaving it to Mackay. Good run by Gary Mackay. And Hearts pull one back. And Alan Lawrence going to the sin bin. Chris McKinley leaving it to Crabb. There's plenty of men forwards. Scott Crabb. Makes it two goals each. Tosh McKinley forward to Cahoon. Now it's Mackay. Chance for Mackay. Oh, magnificent goal by Gary Mackay. Robertson to McKinley. John Robertson. John Cahoon forcing the ball over the line. For Hearts looking for Cahoon, it's well come out by Jimmy Boyle. He's already scored a great goal. There's another one. 5 4 to Airdrie. An anxious moment for St. Mirren. Ball breaking to Stickroth, but it's taken away from him. The penalty kick. Stickroth had just come onto the field, but he wondered. Into his own half, of course, two players must be kept in the opposition half, so Aberdeen have the penalty. So it's Cameron, goal number one to Aberdeen. Godfrey, Dawson, Stickroth, Dawson's well forward, and 
Bradley scores. Irons. Cosma. Kirkwood now is here play. Get players forward. The chance on. Goal number one. Coming from Harvey. Lawrence. And another goal for Airdrie. And again it's Harvey. The chance on. The ball off the other side of the bar. It's Davis again. Cosma. Punched away by the goalkeeper. And a fine goal by Eastman Cosma. Danny Crenny. Crenny and Stewart combining. And the goal there by Sandy Stewart. Cosma now for Dan Thurmley. No, that's a magnificent goal by the Hungarian. Trouble there, and it's Sandy Stewart again. Cosma sending a ball through the chance on. Great goal for Dan Fellman from Scott Leach. Trying to draw Dan Fellman out. Goes to backtrack, and as McBee running into trouble, it's Cosma. Still Cosma, great goal again by the Hungarian. Four goals apiece. Davis. Leach again. Davis. Excellent goal by Dan Farman. Just over a minute left. Coyle. It's blocked by Rhodes. On Coyle. Again, good goalkeeping. Coyle gets another chance at it. Oh, magnificent goal. By Harvey. <laughs> Gary Mackay for Hearts. Josh McKinley. Robertson. Mackay. Oh, a fine goal. Well, I'll tell you, Gary Mackay has scored some excellent goals this evening. John Robertson battling away. Cohen must score, yes. 2-0 to Hearts. Robertson and Steve Wright in a real tussle. Hearts have it again. Another chance for John Cahoon to tee something up. Well, blunder there in the Aberdeen defence. Hearts playing some lovely football in this match. Cahoon, Tosh McKinley, magnificent stuff from Hearts. Again, they're all over the place, the ball spinning over the line, that's an own goal. McLaren. Good ball to Robertson. Scott Crabb gets another hot running riot now. Aberdeen pull one back draw through Ian Jess. St Mirren get the game underway. Good early shot from Thomas Stickroth. And into the roof of the net. Magnificent play. McPhee. Owen Coyle. Oh, that was good. A good build up by Airdrie, but St Mirren now on the counter attack. George Sharp. Oh, magnificent goal. So St. Mirren leading 2-0, but they're to reply immediately. Cut out by Alan Lawrence. Looking for Harvey, he does it again. Two goals apiece. Lawrence. Harvey completes his hat-trick. 
Oh, magnificent shot by Tom Black and great goalkeeping again by John Martin. Look at the power in that shot. It was going into the roof of the net. And another goal for St Mirren. You can see the foul. Good play by Alan Lawrence. Still Lawrence, the first time shot. Off by Airdrie. Leading it to Lambert. Just under five minutes left. And a lovely goal by St Mirren. And a simple tap in for Owen Coyle. Stick off. Chance on for Kinnert. Five goals apiece. He gives it away. Shaw coming through now with just a minute left. The shot from Broddle. And it's swept home by Stickroff. with uh, the traditional Maroon jerseys on again. Good ball from Mackay to McKinley. John Cahoon. First blood to Hearts. He's for sending the ball against the referee. It picks to John Cahoon. Hearts with plenty of men forward. It's Gary Mackay. John Cahoon, first time shot. That's his second goal of the game. Cahoon being watched by Moyes. Good ball to Mackay, Robertson, tremendous goal for Hearts, John Robertson makes it 3-0. John Robertson, oh a magnificent goal by John Robertson, for a very tight angle. Good play by Sanderson. Cunnington. Oh, that's a great goal. Claren. Sanderson. Good goalkeeping again by Andy Rhodes. Cunnington breaking out of defence again. He's already scored a good goal. He teases up this time for Ross Jack. Oh, the Belmont pull back another one. Chance for Owen Coyle. Well, battling hard to regain possession, tease it up, great goal by Airdrie and Alan Lawrence. A oh, good save by John Martin from Scott Booth. Now a chance for Airdrie to counter-attack. Lawrence, he's got Kyle in the middle, number two for Airdrie. Aberdeen in possession through Grant. Ian Jess, oh, a magnificent goal. Ian Jess, bring it on to Steve Wright. Oh, fine goal. Billy Davis. Stumbles a bit, recovers, David Irons. Goal number one to Dunfermline. Good Rafferty. It's Van Cosma. Well blocked by Campbell Money. The counter attack on McDowell. That's the hundredth goal of the tournament. Kenny McDowell. Feed up for Black. Well saved again by Rhodes, he's having a fine match. Now it's Godfrey. Chance for McDowell. Good play by McDowell. Fine goal. 2-1 to St Mirren. Kinnaird. McDowell. Kinnaird. And that surely settles it. 3-1 to St Mirren. Paul Kinnaird. Good aggressive play by Aberdeen. And they get the first goal from Steve Wright. Ball breaking to Cosma. 
the Hooter going there, and it's a penalty kick to Dunfermline. Aberdeen not keeping enough players forward, so the chance for the equaliser. Scott Leach, and he scores. Oh, good goal by Eddie Cunnington. 2-1 to the Berlin. Irons belching with the ball. Seeing it up, and it's Cosma. Another chance on for Aberdeen. And an act of defiance from Steve Wright. To Hearts, to Hoon, to Kinley. Roberts right across the face of the goal. It's an own goal going in off Julian Broddle. Sanderson, good ball forward to Cahoon. Robertson on the far side. Robertson, the first time shot. That was magnificent. Quite happy now to indulge in possession play. Robertson, John Cahoon. That's how easy it is. Oh, great goal by Jimmy Sanderson. George right out for Hawks, giving the ball to Cahoon. Robertson. Cahoon again. 5-0 to Hawks. Good play by Crab, and he makes it 6 0. Not great. Oh, great save by Smith, but Kinnaird following through. The final group table then shows Hearts and Airdrie as the qualifiers, with pre tournament favourites Aberdeen finishing last. The semi-finals lined up, Motherwell against Airdrie and Hearts against St Johnston. And that's where we pick things up in a couple of minutes. So, Motherwell against Airdrie. Right to Cooper. Good shot by Boyd, blocked by McPhee. Well, trouble here for Colin O'Neill. His challenge on Kirkwood and he goes to the Sinbin. Just to five men. Chance for Airdre to open up. Goal number one. One coil. Good play again by Airdre. Coil. Tunnel to Airdre. O'Neill. Boyd. Ferguson pulls one back for Motherwell. Steve Kipps come on. That's Davy Cooper. Up the skills by Cooper. Ferguson Cooper! That was magnificent. Kirkwood. Good effort. Shot on. Oh, magnificent goal by Steve Kirk. Cooper to Boyd. Chance on here. Headed away by Boyle. David Cooper again. Ferguson, David Cooper. He does it again. It's an incredible stuff from David Cooper. Five goals to three. So Hearts get the second semi final underway, and they've scored 20 of the 130 goals in the tournament so far. 
McKinley shot taking a deflection almost beating Lindsay Hamilton John Ingalls Masquerade Sanderson in there challenging half so it is Mackay the ball takes a deflection a shot there by Harry Curran Curran Moore chance on for Masquerade Late. John Robertson. Oh, that's a fine save. Lindsay Hamilton. A fine save. Here come Hearts again. John Robertson. Claren. Great goal. Covering well. 30 seconds left. Chance on for St Johnston. Great save there by Smith, but it's Ashley! And it goes to a penalty shootout. What a dramatic fight back by St Johnston. Well, the penalty shootout underway. Trainer. Got Crab to take Hart's first penalty. He's taking a good run at it. And he scored. Curran against Smith. And he scores. For Wayne Foster. For Hart. And he scored. Two apiece. Roddy Grant will take St Johnson's third kick and he scores John Robertson for Hearts well, excellent penalty taking three apiece now touch up Gary Mackay must score and he does we now go to a sudden death. So it's Moore. Or St Johnston. Smith has saved it. Now Alan McLaren can put Hearts into the final. McLaren against Hamilton. And he scores. into the final 5-4 off the 8th final of the Tenant Sixes they've had 136 goals so far including 8 hat-tricks and that's 20 ahead of the 1987 record in fact we've had two more goals than last year and this final still to come Ruby Cooper Early test for Henry Smith. In a packed house here at the SECC. Number one for Hawks, and it's Tosh McKinley. McKinley again. That was his third goal of the tournament. to Robertson 
Kinley to Hoon. Number two. Good play by Patterson. That's an excellent first touch to David Cooper. Oh, wonderful save by Henry Smith. Right. To Hoon again. Good switch of play to Gary Mackay. John Cahoon, goal number three for Hearts, and the second goal of the match for John Cahoon. Hearts with all the confidence in the world now, trying to draw Motherwell out, Cahoon with the shot. Scott Crabb, seeing it up for right, goal number four. Jubilation on the Hearts bench and among the Hearts supporters. Hearts getting in the challenge, but Hearts have it again through Gary Mackay. Good challenge there by Boyd to Cooper. Great first touch. Ian Ferguson. Ferguson to McCart. Boyd. David Cooper. The ball from Cooper. Push back up. Pulls one back. The imposters come on now for Hearts. Seven, number eight. Mackay to McKinley. Mackay again. Foster. Kinley cutting inside. <laughs> Kinley's second goal of the game, and it's 5 1 to Hearts. Good save again by Henry Smith from Ian Ferguson. What a tournament that goalkeeper's having. But they lose it out to Craig Patterson. Motherwell 2, Hearts 5. Ian Ferguson, David Cooper. Cooper under pressure from McLaren. Does well. Stevie Kirk. So inside the final minute. Free kick to Motherwell. 30 seconds left. That's leading by five goals to two. Free kick to Motherwell. for Motherwell but Hearts are the Tenant Sixers champions of 1991 winning by five goals to three that's it then from the Tenant Sixers for 1991 144 goals scored fantastic entertainment and the winners Hearts